Hey guys, I want to show you how to make the new meta weapon for Escape from Tarkov in 12.12. Uh, if you remember the last fight, the meta was the Mark 47, the Mutant. Uh, let's just build that real quick. I'll show you why it is no longer the best. RSS is a new part for it. It's the new meta part for it, but it's still inferior to the, uh, the other weapon. Let me just build this out quickly so you can see what, just uh, compare the stats yourself. Okay, two. Pop a scope on it as well, just to um, so you can compare the prices more accurately. The Thunder Beast is actually the meta part for the um, for the uh, mutant now. Uh, it used to be the T look variation, but Thunder Beast is actually. That's why it's better. It says 49 vertical recoil. <clears throat> so let's build this. Um, the Thunder Beast is not available from Trader, but like even uh, even without the the silencer, we're looking at 270 thousand. Uh, then plus, yeah, it's 300 uh, plus. You know, it's an expensive weapon to build. It's a good gun. I am not disputing that at all. But there is a better weapon and it's way cheaper. Uh, so let's have a look at the new one. All right. Okay, so if you take an AKM, go to edit preset. And we open up uh, Last Bites meta version of the AKM. Which was this one, 12.11. Uh, so this is the meta version of the weapon, 58 vertical recoil, it's not bad, um, but it's not, it's not meta, like you can't compare it, you lost why you couldn't compare it to anything else, you could just buy it, run it, wouldn't be too expensive. Uh, I'm gonna rebuild it, because I don't need the PDC, just go with the Bastion, um, and let's use the same scope as we're using on the other one. Uh, the RK3 is no longer the meta part, and also I haven't unlocked it from Trader, so that's out. But this part is actually better, so we're going to run with that. And then, the game-changing part is this one here. It's the AK-308. It's a muzzle device or a muzzle adapter. So now you can run different muzzle devices on this platform. And it also enables you to unlock, let's see, the, um, the meta part. Let's go with the meta part, the expensive version, but the best way to run this weapon. It's this. PRS QDC. Right? 46 vertical recoil. And then if we buy the parts and just like build it and see how much it comes to. It's 240 or 236,000, everything from vendor. But some of these parts you can get cheaper, right? Um, or you could earlier today. But even then, it doesn't really matter. 234,000, 236,000 way cheaper than. Um, than the mutant is and it's much more available you know you don't have to uh buy like you can only buy like two mutants and that kind of stuff so yeah 234,000. uh it's considerably cheaper but there's a cheaper build still which i expect a lot of people to be running it's not silenced and it is um uh, slightly worse recoil um but it's considerably cheaper so this is the weapon that i expect to see a lot of uh until the end of white 48 vertical recoil, or <laughs> until they nerf it, because this is overpowered. 48 vertical recoil, 114 horizontal. The build itself is extremely affordable. Um, 206,000, everything from vendor. As I said earlier in the day, European times, uh, you can get a lot of the parts cheaper um, from, uh, from the flea market, but it's not really that impactful right now. But still, 204,000 for a weapon that is it's better than just about I, I can't imagine a better weapon to be running right now. Um, it's running 762 BP. Uh, the ammo is plentiful. It'll, it'll tap through like level 4 armors, level 4 helmets. Um, it's a workhorse. You can use it for everything. So I expect to see a lot of these until the end of white. So yeah, this is it. This is the uh, new meta. Um, let, let me know what you think in the uh, in the comment section. Let me know if there's a better weapon out there, or a better variation on this weapon. Uh, there isn't. And, um, 
uh, hit the like and subscribe and catch me on Twitch. I stream daily uh, European time. So catch you guys later.